In this video, we shall go through the process of completing a RTR monitoring report form. We shall start from the Manage MRF Services screen. In the available MRFs grid, we must first locate the RTR MRF we wish to complete. Be sure to identify the correct form by referencing the monitoring location, form type, and monitoring period columns. Once we are sure we have the correct form, click on the icon under the Enter MRF Data column associated with the form. We are now taken to the Enter MRF Data screen. To begin data entry, we must first click on either the Sent checkbox to indicate the sending of residuals or the Received checkbox to indicate residuals were received. Next, enter the Facility Identification Number. This will be the facility's program interest number for an out-of-state facility which have, has not been issued a program interest number enter the facility name preceded by OS and the state's abbreviation. After a valid PI number has been entered, the customer name column will automatically fill in. Next, enter your numerical result in the quantity column and select the appropriate units in the units column from the drop-down menu. The monitoring location column is disabled by default. It will become active if the transfer reported is between two locations within the same facility. To add rows to the RTR, simply click on the Add Row button. To remove unnecessary rows, click on the red X button under the Remove column associated with the unwanted row. An additional feature of the RTR form is the ability to copy rows from a previously submitted RTR. To do this, click on the Copy from Previously Submitted RTR button. From this screen, use the drop-down to locate the RTR you wish to copy, then click on the Copy button. This will populate the RTR you are currently working on with the rows from the previous RTR you selected. The amount transferred column will not be copied over in this process. If no transfers occurred during the monitoring period, the user can select the No Discharge for Monitoring Period checkbox. This will deactivate the form. At any time while completing the form, the user can click the Save button saving the current information on the form and placing it into the in-progress grid. Once all data entry is complete, the user can either click on Data Entry Complete, sending the form to the MRF Awaiting Certification grid, or, if the user is a responsible official, click on the Certify button. The certification process will be discussed in a later video. That completes the RTR data entry process Please view our other videos for more information regarding this service.